that to follow. Um, but they were a really outstanding bunch at youth level. They're the best youth team I've ever had, and I mean, they were a joy to watch, and they've given me so much pleasure through the years. But I always had a feeling, well, I, I was quite sure that uh, that lot would definitely finish up in our first team. Alex Ferguson had arrived at Old Trafford in 1986 and immediately placed a greater emphasis on the club's youth policy, particularly at a local level. Within 10 years, he was reaping the rewards. The first thing he did was call a meeting um, of all the scouts and he got youth leaders in, he got everybody that's interested in Manchester United down and all together and he said to them, look, we're not doing well enough at youth level so we've all kind of got to get our fingers out and we've got to produce more homegrown players. Brian Kidd had a huge part to play in that, being a Manchester lad, come up through the ranks so he knew everybody in Manchester. He knew all the, the teachers and all the local scouts and all the rest of it. And of course the hard work what, what Alex Ferguson puts in that, even to this day, if there's a kid who leaves Manchester United or there's a kid who leaves the Manchester area for another club, he wants to know why. Brian Kidd was the catalyst. He, he, he was appointed youth development officer. You know, the respect that he had from uh, people outside and also people within the, the game has, has grown immensely and he set the ball rolling. Any of the players talk about Brian Kidd, they talk about his training sessions, talk about the new methods that he brought in, talk about the way that he makes training fun and builds the team spirit. Ferguson was also helped by the considerable experience of youth team manager Eric Harrison. The manager will say to me at the start of every season, or he did say to me at the start of every season, who do you think is going to come through? and we'd have discussions about it and you've got to try and target them I, I kind of target them in my own mind and the ones i generally thought would come through i would tell them you know even if they're only 16 years of age you know because i think that's a great motivating factor for them you know i think you've got to be uh, right more than you've got to be wrong um, i'm not saying you neglect the other ones you don't neglect the other ones but the ones that you target you've got to say to them, you're going to play Manchester United's first team because that's a big, big uh, fillet for them. The first of the crop to come through was the captain of the 1992 FA Youth Cup winning side, Ryan Giggs. I honestly thought when he was late 15, early 16, it would be inter international never mind playing our first team. You know, I thought that highly of him. Sharing and finding Cole. And it goes to Scholes! He had his own little fan club, the Scolesy. Um, we used to get <laughs> kind of big crowds down for the A-team games, which, 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 when you look at, look around, you don't think there's much space here, but he had his fan club because of his goals he scored. I mean, he scored magnificent goals, and his performances week in and week out at youth level are uh, extraordinary. Mickey Bott was next. Alongside Gary Neville and younger brother Phil, they would all play for England. The Neville brothers are the two probably the two most dedicated players I've ever seen in football. I mean, they certainly Gary's made himself into a player because he wasn't an outstanding player at 11 years of age, and that's when I first set eyes on him. But he's definitely made himself into a player. Determination, he's no more determined player um, in the country than Gary Neville. And, and Phil Neville, it's rubbed off on Phil as well. The victorious 1992 youth side contained four players who would go on to win the Premiership and the FA Cup for United, as well as representing their country. Some youngsters have been thrown straight into the first team, others arrive by different methods. Ferguson handles the situation very well. He loans his players out, he get, gets some good experience, he loans them out to lower division clubs where they're playing competitive football, where they're made to appreciate with the fact that if we don't make it, this is what it's like, this is what the score's like, try that little bit harder. When they're playing in the A team and the reserves, you know, they're outstanding talents coming through. There's not much kind of physical stuff going on there, but when they go out to the lower leagues, there's, there's, there's plenty of stick being thrown about, and I think it was good for them anyway.